Well, it's one of the keys to success in both your professional life and your personal life. Yeah, but finding confidence can sometimes be a little difficult. Many people believe you're either born with it, but that might not be the case in her new book, Compounding Your Confidence. Local author Jill Johnson teaches us all how to establish confidence and find success. Jill Johnson joins us this morning. Good morning, Jill. Thank Good. you very much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, our well, pleasure. What do you say to those people that say, hey, uh, you either got it or you don't? They're nuts. <laughs> I like that. I like this <laughs> well, I think, you know, it, a lot of it is that, that when you look at the undermining of confidence, it's most of the time it's people haven't done the proper preparation. Mm. They don't have the right education. They haven't worked on the skills that they need to do to perform well in the arena. I mean, the things that you do on camera, that you didn't just wake up one day and say, hey, that's what I'm going to do and be this proficient at. I mean, you had to work at mm -hmm. your craft. And, and the same thing holds true when you're trying to build your confidence. So. Is it the, so the flip side of that, how does a lack of confidence then how does that tend to hold some people back? Well, the lack of confidence a lot forces people to not take risks. They'll they'll just they'll be very content to stay stagnant in whatever role mm -hmm. or whatever position that they're in and or they'll talk themselves out of trying a new opportunity or throwing their hat in a ring for a new responsibility or for trying for a new job and it ends up undermining their their entire potential for being success because they never know what they were really capable of because they constantly undermine what they're trying to do or what they can do. And obviously you've put a lot of these thoughts into mm -hmm. uh, into your book that you published here and I just I was thumbing through it here while we were listening to, to M.A. and I, I like this little part here it says your essence of, of confidence uh, your favorite quote that you found outside a sugar packet, which makes me happy even more so. <laughs> he who has a thing to sell and goes and whispers in a well is not so apt to get, get that dollars as he who climbs a tree and hollers. Oh, absolutely. That's great. I mean, it's, it's true. It's absolutely it's true. It is. But it's not something that a lot of people really live by or think that they can, they don't think they can climb that tree and holler. I, but I think the thing is, is what it is, is about just speaking what you want, asking mm -hmm. for an opportunity, asking for, for a chance to prove yourself, um, putting yourself in the rain to work and practice new skills so that you can see, well, I like that part of it or I don't like that. Public speaking is a perfect example for people. It terrifies what is this thing that people are most afraid of mm -hmm. besides death. Right. But you don't become a great speaker unless you practice. And so maybe you join Toastmasters, maybe you do a volunteer speech to an audience at your work or at your church. I mean, there's all sorts of places to practice. And that's what that sugar packet is. For me, has always been the essence about taking risk right. and trying more. I, I love that. Uh, you're also a consultant in the mm -hmm. business world yeah. and you help employees achieve confidence mm -hmm. uh, when sometimes they're, you know, maybe they are held back a little bit because of those fears. So what are some of the first steps in getting people out of that, that, that comfort zone and getting them to open up a little more? Well, I think, and I typically am working with the enterprise, so I do a lot of business turnarounds. And when you come in, people are usually a little bit demoralized. They're afraid because things aren't going well, so everybody's walking on eggshells. They're going to lose their job. The executive level that I'm usually working with on the strategy is convinced they're going to lose their job. <laughs> and so a lot of it is trying to bring everybody to the same page of information about what may be going on externally, what may be going on internally, and talking very candidly about what is happening and where are the opportunities and options to take corrective action or to try something new and different. And in doing that in a, in a graduated and risk managed perspective. And so we find that we get a lot of success with clients. I've been doing this for a couple of decades. And so it's, it's not something that you walk in overnight on and do it, but you really try and find the core issues and have people focus in on the things that matter because most of the time they're focused on things that really don't matter at all and won't impact anything relative to success in, in business and in life. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that would be the, the other key component of that is which is more important, confidence in your business or confidence in your life? I think confidence in your life and who you are in that organic mm -hmm. perspective of I know I can trust myself that if you can bring that into your business pers into your business career y you'll be fine because anybody who achieves success goes through segments where um, you're always trying something new and different I just did teleprompter for some videos that we shot mm -hmm. well you know that's it's a lot harder than it looks right. but you have to keep pushing yourself and successful people push through those moments of panic and terror they find ways to move through and try 
to experiment, uh, experiment and do things differently. And then they go back and review. I record all the speeches that I give. I'm a professional speaker, too. I know the craft of speaking, but I'm always looking for how to better. And I'll study this interview sure. and go, what could I do differently and better next time? And that's how we get better. Exactly. That's right. That's exactly, exactly. right. Jill, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks yeah. so much. Uh, Jill's book, it is called Compounding Your Confident Strategies to Expand Your Opportunities for Success. It's available right now.